Now, once we have added or created the web service, the next thing is we need to create a client. As we are working on the local system, so here our local host is your server. So now I am adding a new application, ace.net application, add new item. I am just creating an application, uh, let's say a web form. Just provide the name my first dot ASPX. So this is my ASP.NET application where we have a form tag and we can design a form with some text with input text box and a button control. So I'm just designing a form for inputting two numbers. So this will be my text, let's say first number, then I'll have text second number, and then I'll have one label control where I can display the resultant. So this will be my LBL, let's say result. And the third, fourth control will be my a button control which will provide some action. So here it will be a BTN. Let's say add. And just give this as addition. And I'll take one more control for let's say subtraction. BTN subtraction. So this will be subtraction. So this is my form. Now the next thing is we need to add the web reference for the web services that you've already created in your application. So in this first dot ASPX you must have a reference of these web services. Now just add the reference by right clicking on the project and add a service reference over here. Now here initially there will be no services and operations available. Just click on the discover. Then you will find a specific ASMX file which is your web service. So you will find has some errors and so we need to I think solve the errors first just we need to build this so build successfully then you can go for add service reference oh, directly if you want just discover it so if you have an advanced option also you can click on the advanced option add web reference it will search the web services in your own solution in the local machine or a UDDI server so initially your web service is available in this specific solution only. So this is my web service. So it will found and it, by default it will take the name as a local host. So you will find these are the methods available in my web service. If you click on this, you will find here this SOAP format and it will provide you an XML 
uh, format also to just put the input over there so invoke it you will provide the output in a xml format see 55 now this functions are ready you can just add the reference here on your application so you'll see here a web reference have been added now come back to your first .aspx which is your kind client application now here you can directly add localhost dot my web service name and you just create the object of that web service new local so here you have added the reference of that particular web service now if just come to the designing part of it so here when you click on addition so you need to have a label result dot text equals to obj dot you need to have addition of numbers so you'll see here addition num is coming here so we just put convert dot to in 32 first text box value similarly second text box value should be converted to integer initially it will take the value as a string so this is a function available for converting that string into the integer dot text and as we are showing the output on the label control it is expecting the output in the string format so we're just converting the entire number into the string later on this is the addition of this number similarly uh, just come back to your subtraction button double click on it and display the output in the same way so here subtraction just call the method subtraction is over just build the application once build the solution once and try to execute your application right click see the output in the browser So let's input the numbers. Let's say 23, 23. And when I click on the addition, it will display the output 46, which is actually coming from the web service method. Similarly, if I click on the subtraction, it will display the zero. So the methods are actually written in the web services, and we are just invoking those methods on a client side. Now the similar type of application you can create to fetch the record from the database and the functions that we can provide in our web services. So that could be one of the interesting tasks we can have where we can fetch the record from the database by using our web services. Thank you.